Hey everyone, welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot Connection. My name is Nick Harris, and I am a Senior Copilot Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. Today I have an awesome update to share with all of you that should be rolling out actively to you at this time, and most likely is available as a part of your agent catalog in Microsoft 365. Introducing the Researcher Agent. Now imagine you have a highly skilled research analyst on your team, one who never sleeps, never misses a detail, and can instantly tap into both your internal company knowledge and the entire web. And that's really what the researcher agent is. Unlike the regular co-pilot, which gives you quick answers in real time, the researcher agent takes a more thoughtful, multi-step approach. It starts by breaking down your request into smaller tasks. Then it goes through cycles of research, digging into your emails, your chats, your documents, and even external data sources, if you have them at your disposal, until it's confident with what you need. And finally, it delivers a polished, well-organized report, complete with citations, so you can trace every insight back to its direct original source. So what does this look like in practice? Well, let's say you're preparing a market entry strategy for a new product. Instead of spending hours pulling sales data, competitor insights, and industry trends, you just ask the research agent. It does the legwork and hands you a synthesized report that's ready to present. Or maybe you're a sales leader wondering how your Q4 performance stacks up against the industry. The agent can pull your CRM data, analyze trends, and cross-reference it with analyst reports to give you a clear data-backed answer. Are you heading into a high-stakes client meeting? Ask the agent to compile everything you need. Past interactions, support tickets, recent news, it'll deliver a briefing that's ready to go. Well, the bottom line here is the tool saves you even more time than the normal co-pilot experience. It also improves data accuracy and helps make you smarter. And the best part is it's all seamlessly integrated within Microsoft 365 to give you quick and easy access via your co-pilot interface. So let's go ahead and demonstrate the researcher agent live. If you've never used the researcher agent before, you can navigate to the agent catalog in order to add it in your specific experience. General note, if you do not see it, it could either be number one, it's not fully rolled out to you yet, or number two, your IT administrators have not made the researcher agent available to you. Now, if you do have it available, you can click on the Get Agents option on the right-hand side of your screen in the current user experience today, and you can navigate into the agent catalog. Now, in the agent catalog, I recommend clicking on the Built by Microsoft option on the left-hand side navigation, and that will filter down to the first-party agents that Microsoft directly provides to you. As you can see in here, we have a wide variety of first-party agents available. Specifically here, we of course are focused on Researcher. So I would click on Researcher, and if I hadn't added this particular agent in my experience, there would be an Add button. I have, so it says Open, but you can click on the Add button. Now it may take a few moments for the Researcher agent to show in your agent experience on the right-hand side. I usually refresh two or three times, and it should directly populate within your agent catalog. And so after you directly have it available, you can prompt against the agent. And I do recommend trying out the sample prompts that are available. In this case, let's just go ahead and try out one of the sample prompts to see what the agent does. Now in this case, I clicked on the analyze the market position of, and then I want to fill in the company. And that provides the specific prompt that you see here on the screen. We will do a market share analysis on Microsoft Corporation using both work and web sources. Of course, we could change in our prompt what the particular sources are that we recommend. We also can reference the wide variety of work content around us in order to move forward with any of our demonstrations. Now, before the researcher agent responds to you with its full output, it does provide discovery questions aligned to your prompt that you can directly answer or just feed your own additional information in if you remember something additional that you require or just tell it to go ahead. So let's just tell it to go ahead. Now, once you submit this second prompt, you're going to see this beginning research uh, box populate. And these are the reasoning steps 
and transparency behind what the researcher agent is doing as it builds and architects its plan and consumes rich information around you from work, the web, external data stores that you have, if you have connectors in place, so on and so forth. And it's very interesting. It's almost like I can see its thoughts. If we read through a few of these, uh, for example, checking cloud market share. I'm looking into more recent cloud market share data, specifically for Q4 2023 or Q1 2024, using reliable resource like Synergy Research. It gives you that explainability so you can actually have transparency around what it is doing. So let's let this run for a bit, and once it's fully finished, we will see its output. General note, this could take five minutes, it could take 10 minutes. It depends on the type of research that it's performing. It could take quite some time. So let's just quickly look at the internal monologue and the step-by-step -step process that researcher agent followed. And I think it's pretty insightful and understandable some of the like internal comments that it provides. If we look through a little bit, I noticed a few things like, consider alternative approaches. I am thinking about testing a broader search term like Azure versus AWS versus Google Shared 2024 to capture relevant insights. It's, again, verbalizing what we as humans would like to call thoughts. And it navigates through all of these different checks and balances, searching for information, citing from a broad variety of data sources, and it then aggregates all of this particular information together. You see tons of steps that it's directly included in here. And so now if we scroll down, I'm just going to let this scroll a bit for all of you to see. We can see we start off with Microsoft's market position, dominance, key competitors, global footprint, a table of market share leadership in key segments, Azure cloud computing market share as well. A ton of descriptive cited information. I also really enjoy, I'll stop here for a moment, key insights aligned to a few of these sections as well. So you can pull out that really insightful commenting to understand further what that section of information contains. Now we see moving on to Office 365 productivity suite, and it just keeps going and going. And I'm just going to let this scroll for a while. Rich output, much richer than you would see in a normal co-pilot uh, interface based output with the general AI assistant. It's fantastic. So it does take some time, of course, to read through all of this. And one of the current limitations around this is this is not like a normal chat based experience like you would have in the general AI assistant. You cannot continue the conversation after this point. So what I normally recommend after you evaluate the research data, this particular report, send it to a co-pilot page. You can reference co-pilot pages directly in the general AI assistant. So that way you can lean on this information as knowledge to do more with it. The other great thing is we've just currently released an update where we are allowing customers to take information directly from a Copilot page and add it into a Word document. This is actively rolling out right now. I do not yet have access to it in my demo tenant, but it should be rolled out within the coming month or two. The icon, as I've seen, would show up somewhere around the top right-hand corner here where you can send it over to a Word document that would be saved in your OneDrive. And then, you know, a use case around that could be, hey, maybe I want to take this research data and I want to create a PowerPoint presentation based on this key information and detail. I can easily do so by referencing that Word document. So some great ways and insights that you can pull directly from Research Agent. I highly recommend everybody test and play and experiment with this. But that's all for me for today. So thank you all so much for your time. I hope you have a good one. We'll see you next time.